Here's our Socios.com tale of the tape. OAM is five years older than Alexander Martinez. Martinez is the taller and heavier fighter. He also has a reach advantage in the arms. Slight reach advantage actually favors the Canadian gangster in the legs. Ray Flores, to you. And now, ladies and gentlemen, from the Hulu Theater here at Madison Square Garden, it is time for the first of our two PFL lightweight semifinal matchups. Introducing to you first, fighting to my right out of the blue corner, he is a striker, standing six feet even, weighing officially at 156 pounds. His mixed martial arts record entails 10 wins, six of those coming inside the distance against two losses and one no contest. Fighting out of Grand Prairie, Alberta, Canada, by way of Paraguay. Currently the number three seed in the lightweight division. Ladies and gentlemen, damas y caballeros, presentando Alexander Martinez. And across the PFL smart cage, his adversary fighting out of the red corner. He is a jiu-jitsu practitioner standing five feet 10 inches tall, weighing in officially at 155 pounds. His record stands at 15 wins against five defeats, eight victories coming by way of submission. Joining us from Montreal, Quebec, Canada, he is the number two seed presenting the Canadian gangster, Olivier Hobart. In charge is Kevin McDonald. Kevin McDonald equipped with the ref cam. Give us a look from inside the PFL smart cage if necessary. OAM in the red trunks, Alexander Martinez in the black and gray. A trip to the PFL lightweight Ready championship here in season Ready four Let's go. on the line. Touch of the gloves, OAM in the southpaw stance. Slapping kicks early here from Alexander Martinez. That time he stomps to the lead leg. Big left hand from OAM is blocked. What we saw from the last light heavyweight semifinal, the furious pace. I don't know if we should expect the same here. These guys are both very tactical and intelligent, Ken. Yeah, that's right. Martinez, though, will force a fight. He's very good with his footwork. And if there's one guy who could force Olivier to have to fight him, it is Martinez. He's as scrappy as they come. He stayed very busy here in round one. Nice step back counter left there from OAM as Martinez tried to blitz a combination. OAM moving forward, which is a, a little different tactic than we've seen him in his other two regular season fights. A lot more lateral movement. Staying out of trouble in those fights. And here he's trying to put a little pressure on Martinez and close that kicking distance. Martinez tried the high kick and then came down with a stabbing right hand. Continues to work that lead leg of his opponent. Oh, big right on the step through from OAM. Straight left to the chest there from OAM, who now tries to the body with his own kick. Now Olivier is starting to find his range getting a little bit busier here. We see at least one of Alexander Martinez's kicks landed to the body of OAM. Some serious redness on the left pectoral of the Canadian. Martinez goes high, he's blocked. Nice counter strike there. Olivia doing a good job of shifting his stances, which is going to bring power and confuse Martinez a little bit. Absolutely, Kenny. He's doing that step through and throwing a combination off that, and I think that's absolutely what it's designed to do is, is confuse his opponent. Yeah, you really can make up a lot of distance very quickly and bring some serious power at the same time. An exchange of body kicks here. Both of these guys looking to 
bank some early damage to their opponent's body. No question on the gas tank from either of these guys. Yeah, that stance shift is definitely surprising Martinez here. But we know how tough he is. He doesn't seem very phased so far. Has a tremendous chin. It's definitely allowing o o OEM to land some shots, though, because I think it, it causes you to think for a second. Yes. You don't have time to think in there. Martinez has to be careful and not get that chin too high as he moves forward. That's where Olivia can land one of those overhand lefts or rights, depending on how he's shifting his stances. Head over to CollectibleExchange.com for autograph event news gear and posters from your favorite PFL fighters. That's CollectibleExchange.com. Just over one minute remaining here in the first frame. Light heavyweight semifinal. A trip to the 2022 PFL Lightweight Championship. Martinez landed the uppercut at the end of that combination. There's that step through again from OAM and now double underhooks as Martinez presses OAM to the cage. A lot of conversation about this, Randy. Stealing rounds, if it's back and forth, what does that final minute look like? Both of these guys have shown some acumen for uh, influencing the judges with late action. Absolutely. Very calculated guys, both of these guys. And what's interesting to me is they both sat down with us in other fights and told us exactly what they needed to do win. And they went out in the heat of the moment and did that exact thing. So both these guys, very, very technical fighters. And they go about it in, in very different ways as far as how they steal rounds. You have Martinez, who's very aggressive, who lets his damage do the talking for him to steal those rounds. And Olivier uses some very smart tactics to win his rounds. But this is certainly the busiest we've seen Olivier here. Martinez is forcing him to fight. Some more of those Taekwondo kicks from Martinez, who runs into a counter right hook. Final seconds of this first round, and we will see a second frame Stop. when we return. Rain Alexander Martinez. Round two. In the gray trunks, Olivier Alvin Messier in the red. Kenny, how'd you score the first? Geez, you know, that, that was tough because I thought Olivia landed some big shots, but Martinez was far busier. Hard to tell which fighter caused more damage. Oh, big shots there by Olivier, though. The, the left hands are really backing Martinez up. Yeah, he's been doing that chain step and throwing. Oh, oh, oh he hit him. Rocked him. him. And down into the guard, OAM. Temporarily hurt Alexander Martinez. Now, we've seen him get hit hard and recover quickly in the past, but you don't want to leave an opening like that for OAM. Now, Martinez isn't going to go away easily, but again, that's what was my, what was my concern don't for grab the him. Fence. Getting that head a little too high. He's trying to get an arm angle bar. now to attack, arm the, arm. attack the arm. Oh, nice job by OAM to slip out of that. Olivia now taking the back. Oh, he's very good from this position. Slick work there by OAM after the armbar attempt to take the back of Alexander Martinez, who now has over three minutes of this potentially in store for him in the second round. OAM with the body triangle locked on. It's going to restrict the breathing of Martinez and make it difficult for him to reverse this position. Olivia doing a good job of getting wrist control, not really allowing Martinez to get an angle and turn and face him. And that's what Martinez needs to do. But very difficult to do with that body triangle. Those, hip, those hips are very well isolated, very well controlled by the Canadian gangster right now. And you can see OAM just switching arms, right arm across the neck and face, left arm across the neck and face keeping Alexander Martinez on the defensive so he's not even able to address the body lock because he's got to keep the arm out from under his chin. Martinez needs to get his right leg and get on the inside of the right leg of Olivier. He keep, uh, Martinez keeps trying to change hips and get him on the right side, put that foot on the bottom so he can try and break that lock. But the fence keeps including him from getting all the way over there. Right, this is a better position, well, it was, for a little bit. Olivia able to regain control with that right leg, underneath that leg, just 
just taking away the base of Martinez. Can't get that angle. One thing that's impressed us from Alexander Martinez so far in his PFL fights is the composure. Even when he's in really bad situations, he does fight very composed, stays strategic, and he's leaning on that right now because this is a smothering effort from OAM who continues to attack with the choke attempt. Martinez has been pretty defensively sound, though, from this back position. Olivier is controlling very well. Going tr trying for the short choke. He's keeping that chin tucked, Sean, keeping that arm high. He's fighting hands very well. But this is some clear domination so far in the grappling realm from Olivier Aubin Marcier. Martinez was trying to turn away, but didn't want to get belly down on the canvas. That would have been devastating for him. 90 seconds remain in the second round. A trip to the PFL Championship at 155 pounds on the line. Olivia Alba Messier has been on Alexander Martinez back for the bulk of this round. After a solid armbar attempt from Martinez, OAM really flipped the script. Of course, he scored the big knockdown to even yeah. start this ground exchange. Uh, he looked very, very sharp here in round two. There's Anthony Showtime Pettis, one half of our main event, a rematch against Stevie Ray, who was able to submit him last time out. 30 seconds remain. Will Alexander Martinez survive the onslaught for another half minute? Power half by Olivier about Mercier. There's the 10 second warning. It does appear that Alexander Martinez will hang on and we will see a third and final round in this Stop. lightweight hey, semifinal. It could be one round apiece. Third and final. Very tough first round to score. I thought OEM had the significant strikes in that first round, but Alexander Martinez was way more active in that first round. So it really depends on what the judges saw. But Martinez has got to make something happen in this third round. Oh, oh another he's huge hurt. left hand. Oh, he's in big trouble. And OAM drops Alexander Martinez a second time. And it was the same punch, Sean. That, that left hand, he, he switched through, switched his feet and threw that left hand. Ian Parker's Revago bold prediction was that Alexander Martinez would pull it out in the third round. Oh, Olivia now advancing position, takes the back again, guys. And Excellent. there's that body lock again. He's also got the right foot tucked in step behind the knee of Alexander Martinez. This time, though, the body lock is on the inside, the cage, inside to the cage, which means Alexander Martinez can put Olivia Abamessier's left foot on the mat if he turns over. That's his best hope for getting out of this body triangle situation and trying to reverse his position. Hard for him to even get that far into the defense, though, because of how much OAM keeps the arms active. Now, this is a better position for Martinez. If he's able to get to his right side, he needs to get his shoulders to the mat and then turn it face like he's trying to. And Olivier is smartly getting that right underhook, preventing Martinez from getting connection to the floor. OAM switching sides on the body lock, going back and forth. You see, he's tying up that leg. He's taking away that foot from Martinez, taking away his ability to utilize the floor very well. Excellent positioning here by the Canadian gangster. There's that power half again, trying to entice Alexander Martinez to go with the backward pressure and have his chin pop up. Olivier Aubin Mercier is one of the most technical chess players we've seen in this sport. Absolutely, and we've seen, again, three different approaches in his last three fights. Really has a lot of different skills and a lot of ways that he could beat you.
Here's where Martinez needs to get his shoulders to the floor and then turn and face. He's to get to that left side, get heavy with his body to the floor, and then turn to the right to see if he can get on top of Olivier. Every time he gets Olivier where he needs him with that foot on, Olivier switches the lock. To Always the other a side. step ahead, no question. There, he just switched it again, yeah. right there. And this has got to be very frustrating for Martinez. Two minutes left in this third and final round. Winner will advance to the 2022 PFL Championship out at lightweight. Where, of course, a beautiful gold belt and a $1 million check awaits the winner. See if Olivier can force Martinez to go belly down. Unable to do it there. Looks like that's what he's trying to do. Martinez fails on that idea. This fight has taken place right here on the ground. OAM on the back of Alexander Martinez. But I don't want it to get lost that the reason we've ended up here two rounds in a row was a big left hand from OAM. He's far from one dimensional. He didn't require a takedown to get here. A knockdown in both rounds. That's a pretty efficient way to take down your opponent, just knocking them down with a shot to the jaw. My favorite way to do it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Twenty seconds left in this fight. And Olivier has shown potent striking and just the ability to neutralize and neuter his opponent. And it's that step through left hand that, that did the damage all night long. A valiant effort from Alexander Martinez, but it was a defensive effort most of the Stop. way. Clean break. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the scorecards. The judges score 30-27. 30-26 and 30-26 for your winner by unanimous decision and advancing to the 2022 PFL Lightweight Championship Final, the Canadian Gangster! Oh!